there comes a time where a club is sick, sick and tired of not raising the BPL trophy. There comes a time where a club gets sick of speaking about the Invincibles. Yeah, they were great, but nobody wants to hear about them anymore. It's 2016. There comes a time where teams get sick of hearing. You don't splash out the big money. You don't invest in the good players. You don't go out and waste the money like the United and the City and the Chelsea and the blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. That time is over. The time is now. We've wasted the money. We got the players. We need to win. The time of not raising the BPL trophy ends here. Welcome to the press conference. Uh, you, you probably see I kind of have a smile on my face, but it's not really a smile. We're coming off of a horrible result um, in the last game. Uh, not a result I'm happy with, so I guess we'll start with questions about that. You're probably wondering what 11 I put out, what formation, where I went wrong, what did I do wrong. So let's start with, uh, let's start with some questions before we go on. Hello, skills. Welcome. Uh, you sign Gareth Bell, Isco, Agueto, Hernandez, and you lose to a team that is on the verge of relegation. Yes, the team in last place. You are worse than most managers in the BPL. You're worse than Van Gaal. You're worse than uh, Wenger who got fired for you. How do you feel about this? You sign mega stars and you lose. You literally suck. Um. Wow. Uh. Yeah, I mean, when 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 you make signings like this um, and things don't play out, people start to lose their cool with you. I think, and I hope that the Arsenal fans, the Gunner fans, the the faithful have realized I've kept Arsenal in all four competitions. That most moves we've made have been a successful move, and that I'm doing everything to better this club. And that's that's what I stand for: is to win trophies. I, I think this result was a terrible one. I think the formation I put out probably wasn't the best one. Um, but I also think that at the end of the season, if we're r r raising trophies, FA Cup, the BPL, the Champions League, any of them, um, most importantly the BPL, the Arsenal fans, the Gunner faithful, won't be mad at me, okay? This is a result that happens to the best teams, okay? I've seen uh, teams go out of the FA Cup to small teams. I've seen uh, big teams annihilate big teams it's, it's things that happen throughout a season and it's my job to now speak to my players get them motivated and come back for two massive games which we have a bpl one and an fa cup one i'm not taking no more questions i want to know that when i i want you to know when i win the bpl i will laugh in your face i will laugh in your face let's start off right where we left off booya nation in this arsenal career mode which has slowly become my favorite career mode of all time. Now, I know a lot of people in the comments down below will argue the Newcastle career mode, maybe even the Manchester United career mode was the best career mode of all time. But the most fun playing, this one right here has been the most fun playing for me. We're in all four competitions. I didn't really want to sign Gareth Bale. Obviously, I wanted to name more Messi or Ronaldo, even a Royce had I known uh, to actually put the Uzil bid on him. But Bale's the only one that accepted, so he got Bale. But I am happy with the Aguero, Isco, and Chicharito signing. A lot of people say I say Chicharito wrong, so I'm just going to call him Hernandez because it's Chicharito, I think. And I say Chicharito when it's Chicharito. Anyways, um, yeah, man, Luis Gustavo's been a great st signing for us. Stone's been amazing. And I absolutely love the team. And really, it's cool because we didn't lose loads of players. We still have our big name players like Sanchez, like Koscielny, like Czech. We have our players that are big and we still have our young talent on the team as well. So really happy with this career mode so far. Couldn't be happier and hope you guys are just as happy. One thing I'm not happy about is who we dropped points to in the last episode. As I pull the table up for y'all, you can see I lost points to last place. Last place team. We lost to a last place team, which kept us in second place. My bad for that, but you know, there's a lot of slip ups. As I fix my team real quick, can we talk real life Arsenal for a second? I'm gonna say this, and I don't want the Arsenal fans to get mad at me. Nepenthes is my best friend, Arsenal fan. I told him last year, Nep, I think it's time they move on from Arsene Wenger. He's a Arsenal fan, he said, no way, I love the guy. Guys, this year more than any year in the world, Arsenal should have made a push for, the push for this. Man City not playing the best. United not playing the best. Chelsea not playing the best. They're losing out to two teams they shouldn't be losing out to. No disrespect to Spurs. They're a big side as well. But this should be Arsenal's year. And they're slipping up in games where you can't slip up 
in a year like this and i think it comes down to lack of motivation i'm not really sure but you can't really keep blaming that they don't sign big players because this year it's not about big players this year it's about just finishing your opportunities anyways man let me know in the comments down below is arson venger's time over at arsenal do you think it's time for them to make a switch or do you think they need to stick with them that everything's going to be fine today i can't switch with a stick with sanchez he's too tired uh hernandez is a bit tired but i'm gonna keep him in the lineup i'm going with welbeck and hernandez as you can see, 23 games played for the London sides, Chelsea and Arsenal, and we're all tied up on points. As Czech brings out the captain, Bannon brings out the team. Believe Czech got injured in real life. Hopefully he recovers quickly and gets back into the lineup as quickly as possible. Here comes Southampton. Nice little dribbling. Isco couldn't help defend that. Wilshere playing CDM for one of the first times ever this year. Good put. Good shot. Whoa. How are we suffering? From there, Petr Cech, aka Mega Man, one of the best in the one of the best doing it, one of the best keepers in the world. Oh, you can't beat Nah, man. It's a it's a fan. No, 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 nothing taken away. It's a fantastic shot, a fantastic goal. Can we please get this ball back? Can we please get this ball back? Check. Oh my God, it should be two nil to Southampton. One more attempt for them without us having an attempt. I'm switching our formation back to our default formation. Nice steal by Stones. As I drop it into Isco, looking for the best opportunity, the best pass, taking too long to find it. We lost it. We get it back with Stones. Stones playing great in the back. Ox Chamberlain. Ox Chamberlain, a nice move. Still Ox on it. I'm going to go ahead and send the pass in. It's a good one. Well back. I'm waiting for Ox. It doesn't go to Ox. It goes to Monreal. I don't want to send the shot. I don't believe Hernandez is tall enough to win headers. I'm still with it. I try to play it back into Welbeck. It gets it gets stolen and played out. When in doubt, play it out. Ox Chamberlain, time, space. Accelerates the ball forward a little bit. Gareth Bale in the box. I see him. I see Gareth Bale making the run up. Ah, just inches before it got to him. As I send the ball to Ox. Chamberlain almost lost it. He stays with it. The Ox. Gabriel. Back to my man Stones. Stones with a fake shot past one. Stones doing it. I can't. Speak enough about this man. Stones is a next level player. He does it in the back. He does it in the front. He does it where we need it. He finds himself a booyah and I can't thank you enough. My boy Stones, what a shot. Leveling it all up right before halftime. Let's make sure we don't suffer a quick goal. Welbeck loses it. I haven't even said Welbeck's name this game. And now Welbeck's on the floor. Has himself a little boo-boo. Is he getting up? Oh, dude. My man Welbeck got dropped. I'm not sure if he's injured. Look at that, boys. Time to switch up the formation. I can't be getting dominated at home. Emirates Stadium against Southampton. No disrespect to the Southampton fans out there. I love you guys, man. But come on, baby. We got to be doing better than that. Is Welbeck injured? It looks like he's okay. Okay, we're going to drop Isco into that cam position. I'm going to let Chicharito, Chicharito, I think I said that right this time, man. I'm going to put Welbeck out on the wing. Why? Because I don't care, man. Actually, I do care. Um, I'm taking out Ox. I'm leaving Welbeck out on the wing, boys. I'm being honest with you. And then I'm going to bring in, I need a CDM. Cocklin. I said he didn't have a lot of room for us, but he does. Actually, no way. I'm bringing in Ramsey. Ramsey, Wilshire, and Isco. It's a nice midfield. It's a strong midfield. Let's get this, Vic. When we were beasting and feasting, I go to it now with Chicharito and Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale in there. Gareth Bale. How are you not doing better right there, Gareth Bale? I need you, man. Ever since I signed you, you haven't done much. Welbeck, why are you coming towards me? Here's Wilshire. I'm going to drop this into Isco. Isco bringing it forward nicely. I'm going to try to slide this into Gareth Bale. I do that beautifully. Gareth Bale with a skill move. Gets by one. Gets taken down. It's a bad foul. We'll take a free kick right there. We'll take a free kick. I'm not sure if I brought Agüero with me. I'm hoping I got Agüero with me on the bench. I'm really going to need him as we're unable to hit the back of the net so far. I think I'm just going to shoot this one with Gareth Bale, boys. He hasn't done much. Is this his first opportunity to score for the London side? 73rd minute, no more time for games. Do I have Agüero on the bench? I do. We're bringing him in for Chicharito. And uh, Asante Casula for Isco. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Boys, come on, boy. Come on, boys. We can win this. Oh, man. How lovely would it be to see Agüero and Gareth Bale play together? That would be nuts. I cut inside like a boss. Gareth Bale still with it. In towards Agüero. I shouldn't have played that pass. That was a silly, silly pass to play. Doesn't matter. The pressure's real now, boys. All of a sudden, the game flip-flopped. Passing it down. Nicely. I think I got Santi with the overlap. Santi Casola, the super sub Santi Casola, the Spanish man. What a finish. Big ups to Santi. Yes, baby. It's 
a 90th minute plus corner. Oh, keepers up. Everybody's up. Pat a check, please. Pat a check, please. Oh, my days. Santi mother sucking Kasula. Please. Somebody bang it. Oh, my days, Santi Kasula. Nah, yo. Nah, 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 nah. You guys don't even know how important that was. That could have been a championship save. Just remembered, someone in the comments down below, I forget your name, I truly, truly apologize for that. But you told me to change up Gareth Bale's number, uh, Chicharito's number, and also uh, Chicharito. I'm always gonna say it wrong, man. Uh, and also change up uh, Isco's number. So Isco, what's Isco gonna be? Let's see, Isco's number 20 right now. I don't mind Isco being a number 20, to be honest. If I take him to number 10, who would he be mixing up with? Does, is anybody rocking the number 10? Does anybody on our team rock the number 10? Wilshere rocks the number 10. So I'm going to keep Isco as the number 20. Uh, who rocks number 11? Is it is it Sanchez? Does Sanchez rock 11 for us? Nobody rocks 11, it looks like. So I'm going to take Gareth Bale to the number 11, as I like that number a lot. My nose itches, boys. My goodness. Um, and also, then we're going to see... Uh, did Ramsey wear the number 11? Actually, I hope not, man. I don't know what number to give him, boys. Um, number nine's taken. I want him to be number 21, but I'm not sure if anybody wears the number 21. Chambers about to lose his number. Chambers is losing his number. That dude, every time he plays for me, he plays so bad. Chambers loses his number. Not tripping, man. All right, so there it is, boys. Just finished up our training for the day, and as you can see, Ox almost the 80. Welbeck almost the 81. Campbell almost the 78. As we look at the calendar, I thought about simulating this game, but I'm not going to because we have important games after that one. We have Leicester coming up, Leicester City, and we also have the Chelsea game all next week. So we need to play this game and try to get the W. For this game, I think it's important for us to... Do we need to rest players here, boys? I don't know if resting players is the right thing to do in the FA Cup. I don't think I want to rest players for this one. I think I want to go out with my strong team and then against Leicester rest a couple players, even though they're a great side. They have Vardy and he wants to party. But we want to rest players in that game so we can go into the Chelsea game full strength. No team's an easy game. No game do you want to rest players. But, boys, this is the FA Cup. It's an important competition to me. So I think resting players in this competition would be dumb. Also, I want to figure out how to play with this formation. That's a great find into Hernandez. Hernandez with an opportunity rocking his new number. I see Agüero. Oh, baby. Hernandez trying to get to it. Hernandez. That's beautiful. Yes, indeedy. Don't be greedy. What do you do right here? You give it to Agüero. <laughs> I could have given Hernandez his first goal in an Arsenal kit. But I decided to keep my man Agüero going. Keep his, keep his good form on fire. And look at the little pass. That's what I... Oh, nice finish. Yo, it's a Rabona finish. Agüero getting nasty. I know it's a sweaty goal, but I want to keep, you know, Hernandez as the assist guy and Agüero as the finisher, baby. And when Welbeck comes in, which we're going to see him in this game at some point, I cut back with Sanchez. I see Agüero making the nice little overlap. I feed him. Agüero still with that go near post. Agüero, dude, what is this guy? I mean, he signs for Arsenal and he's just lights out. Now, I know every game he's been beasting in has been either a Capital One Cup game or a FA Cup game. Actually, I think he's beasted both games for us in the FA Cup. He hasn't done nothing in the, B in the BPL for us. Can Gareth Bale please do something? I cut inside with Gareth Bale. I'm still on it with Gareth Bale. He's yet to do anything. I sent into the Isco, into the Real Madrid, man. Ha <laughs> ha! Like, literally, Gareth Bale has done nothing for us. And as I'm saying, please, Gareth Bale, I was going to bench him for Walcott. Gareth Bale's not getting it done here at Arsenal. But right here, what a play. Slides through everyone, puts a beautiful pass into Isco, who yet hasn't, he hasn't done nothing for us neither. And finally, hits the back of the net. It's his first goal in England. As we arrive at halftime, I think there's only one thing I could possibly do. Even though Aguero's on a hat trick, I'm pulling Aguero for Walcott. Okay, and then I'm also going to pull a Sanchez uh, for Welbeck, I think, maybe. Uh, let me switch that around like that. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to keep uh, I'm trying to keep our guys with legs. I'm even going to put Ramsey out for bail. So the reason I'm pulling out Guedo, Bale, and Sanchez is even if their fitness is down just a little bit, I can still see them play a little bit of the next game. Bravo, I'm going to find Hernandez on the edge of the box. Hernandez with a fake shot gets by one. Hernandez is going to let it go, Hernandez. I see the overlapping run from Monreal as I was shooting. Hernandez off the post. Oh, man. Hernandez. Well bet go, baby. 
Yes, Welbeck. That's a beautiful ball. That's a beautiful run. Welbeck for Nessie. Another assist for Hernandez. Javier Hernandez is the assist master. He's the, he's our new Uzil. He's literally our new Uzil. He's, he's assisting like a boss. He's not scoring, but the assist for days. Yup. Wow. I gotta maybe help check a little bit better. Regardless, a big, massive, nice win in the Capital One. Excuse me, the FA Cup, man. We go to their house. We go to their place. We beat them nicely. We smash on them 4-1. We see Leicester up next on the Wednesday game. And as you can see right now, we are actually not in first place, but we are in first place. Well, the reason we're not in first place is because we're a game behind. If we win before we go to London, well, before we stay in London to play Chelsea, okay? Before we have the London game against Chelsea, we could be in first place as long as we could win our Wednesday game, our midweek game. So Spurs starting to slip up. They started so good, but now they're starting to slip up a lot, starting to lose a little bit of ground on us. A win today puts us in a great place to be able to go face it off against uh, Chelsea. But the next two games are going to be two very difficult games. I'm proud of my boys. We're staying alive in every competition. I'm not proud of this Hector thing that went down. Denied. Not happy with that, but we've done pretty damn well. If you are enjoying this Arsenal career mode, and it's a fun career mode for you to watch, Smash a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know who do you want to see me play more. I know I'm giving Hernandez a lot of a go. Do you want to see Welbeck in there more? Do you want to see more Walcott or Campbell? Let me know down below. It's been your boy Skills. Like it. Subscribe it. Booyah.